I found another thing that I can do that's similar to improvising interviews with people that I haven't met is to improvise shows with either friends or people that I haven't met. And essentially what I do is I ask you, um, what color would you like your logo to be? And for a genre of music and for a topic. And then right afterwards, uh, we film you talking about whatever the topic was. Then I take the color of logo and I make a logo for you. And then I take the genre of music and I pick out a song that YouTube provides with that genre. And then I edit together a show based on all the things that you said. And it actually works out pretty well. Um, I could also do that if you guys in the comments below uh, comment a color, a topic, and a genre of music. I can do the same thing with you guys. The only difference is I couldn't film a segment with you, but I would film a segment based around whatever the topic was, and the logo would be the color that you said, and the theme song would be the genre of music you listed. That is if YouTube can provide it, of course. And if the logo thing can provide the color. If you ask for some really crazy color, it may not be available. Though currently I can't think of one. Uh, maybe Sartreuse? They may not have Sartreuse? I don't know. So anyways, yeah, uh, I'm going to be calling it the Improv Show, and it's going to be in the vlogs, so what will probably happen is, at the end of one vlog, you may see someone say, oh, I want my logo to be blue, uh, I want it to be classical music, and I want to talk about fishing, and then the next, it'll like break into like another part, and then that part will be their Improv Show, so it'll be the logo with like them walking or whatever and it's like hosted by da 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 and then you see them um, you guys just watch one of those let's eat hosted by Hannah Berry and I want to keep doing those that actually sounds like a pretty cool premise break up the monotony of the vlog which is funny because uh, the vlog is my life so break up the monotony of my life um, and just add in like some cool little skits and segments uh, for you guys back at home so yeah, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for more content. Big news in the science virtual reality world, Cyanverse is on Kickstarter. If you don't know what that is, I'm about to tell you. boo doo boo doo boo Gadget Corner with Jet. Okay, so Cyanverse is essentially on Kickstarter, which Kickstarter is a web page where you can crowdfund projects, and Cyanverse is a virtual reality project that's based around the idea you can take multiple virtual reality applications and put them all together into a virtual world where you can meet up with your friends and you can all access these applications without each of you having to download them. And each application will exist within a room in the world, but the world itself is a massive city, so you could go into buildings and like one room could be one virtual reality program and one room could be another. Um, but you could also meet people that you don't know within the virtual world too and you can all travel to different rooms and each room be its own VR experience within a VR experience. It's very meta. It is an interesting idea for having a multiple, it's kind of like a VR social network in a way because you can meet people, explore, find new VR applications, and essentially it could be like a one install and done kind of thing because you would Let's say every VR application, hypothetically, was inside of Cyanverse. That would imply that you could just get Cyanverse and then you could use all other VR applications. You just have to find them. You just have to explore around the massive city, travel through the different buildings. But that also means you could run into like some really weird stuff and meet some rather interesting people. Um, it's a really good premise. I would recommend you guys checking it out on Kickstarter. It currently needs... Oh, I exited out of it, dang. Um, I know that it's really, really far below the amount of money that it needs, but last time I checked, I think it may have had, like, over $100,000, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, they need a good amount of money for this project to launch off, but if it does launch off, I think it would be a rather cool project. So, yeah, um... Check that out if you're interested in virtual reality. What do you think about Cyanverse? Do you think it'll be a good idea? Yay or nay? Uh, tell me why in the comment section below and stay tuned for more content.
Hey guys, the University of Illinois in Chicago has developed a robot that can predict <laughs> what you're going to grab off a table. Even if you make it look like you're about to grab, like, a pencil, but then you, like, charge forward and grab a water bottle at the last minute, the robot will know that you were going for the water bottle the whole time. It's rather interesting to think that we've gotten that far to where we can make a machine that can predict your next ash action even if you're trying to be deceptive about it. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, do you think that this is kind of cool and maybe it could be used in order to deter criminals? Because if you had a camera that could like film someone and could tell that the person was going to commit a crime even if they were looking incognito and it seemed like they weren't going to do anything, uh, do you feel like this technology would be abused? Uh, post in the comment section below and stay tuned for more content. Hey guys, welcome back and right now we're talking to Jason. Hello. Great to meet you, Jason. Okay, so a few questions. What color would you like your logo to be? Uh, yellow. Yellow? Okay. Uh, give me a genre of music you like your theme song to be. Let's do something orchestra. Orchestra? Nice. Okay. And what topic would you like to talk about? Cats. Cats. Okay. So Jason is about to have his own show. Oh, one last question. What would you like the show to be called? What would be a good name? Uh, Kitty Cat Corner, but Corner with a K. Okay. Okay, cool. So we're about to watch Kitty Cat Corner starring Jason with a yellow logo and an orchestra theme song. Mm -hmm. And it's all about cats. So yeah, stay tuned for more content.